Hello there and welcome to the channel. I'm Stephen Bunting and I'm a physiotherapist working in the northwest of England. This video describes a comprehensive exercise program for the management of tennis elbow. It's made alongside my other video which explores the condition in more detail. You can check that out up here or I'll put a link in the description below and I'd suggest watching that first so you can learn much more about the condition and some of the other things that might be worth trying alongside these exercises. It's important to note that these exercises should be relatively pain free. If you try them and they are too painful then you're going to need to rest your arm until the pain settles to the degree where you can manage them. If your symptoms get a lot worse whilst doing them or fail to settle down quickly after you've stopped then get further advice from a physio or other healthcare professional. Use this table to help monitor your pain levels on a score of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain imaginable. While exercising, try and keep any pain within the green or yellow boxes, otherwise you're doing too much, so back off a little. Any pain should also settle down within the hour. The exercises will just aggravate the problem if you push too hard, so be patient and progress in baby steps. You're going to need to do them regularly for about three months for most people to get a decent improvement. Okay, so with that done, let's get started. This exercise should be the first one that you try. If you can't manage this, whilst keeping the pain in the green zone, then stop and rest it for a few more weeks. Place your painful arm on a table, palm downwards. Then lift your palm off the table and hold your wrist in this position whilst applying gentle downwards pressure with your other hand. Hold for between five and 10 seconds and repeat five times. Build up to 30 second holds over a four week period. At this point, when you can do this exercise with minimal pain, you can then progress to the next set of strengthening exercises. Place your arm on a small table, palm downwards, and let your wrist drape over the edge. Grasp a small hand weight of about half to one kilogram. Slowly raise the weight up towards the ceiling, hold for a second before slowly allowing the weight to drop back down to the start position. You can do the same exercise with a length of resistance band. It comes in different colours depending on the resistance. Yellow is usually the lightest and is plenty for most people with tennis elbow. Tie one end to something like a broom handle or a rolling pin, stand on the other end with your foot and then wind the band around the pole until a suitable amount of resistance is felt. This exercise is best done with both wrists at the same time. With either the hand weight or the resistance band, repeat the movement five to 10 times and do twice daily. Build up to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions twice daily. Using the same pole and resistance band set up as before, slowly increase tension in the band by winding the pole towards you in the same direction as if turning a motorbike throttle. Wind the pole to the point where you start to feel a little bit of elbow pain and then slowly wind it back down the other way. Repeat this for about two minutes and increase steadily to about five minutes over the weeks. Do the exercise twice daily. Sit with your painful arm supported on a small table, wrist draped over the edge. Grasp the middle of a small hand weight or something like a rolling pin. Roll your forearm slowly from the palm up position to the palm down position. Over the weeks, slowly build up to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. You can increase the resistance by holding the hand weight 
or rolling pin at one end, or by using something heavier at one end, like a hammer. Grasp a towel with both hands. Twist one way with one wrist, whilst twisting the other way with the other wrist, as if wringing out a wet towel. Hold for about five seconds and repeat five times, then go in the opposite direction. Over the weeks, build up to 15 second holds. These next six exercises are general whole arm exercises aimed at improving the strength of the main supporting muscles around the elbow, shoulder and wrist. These should also be done as part of a comprehensive strengthening program for the whole arm, which increases the likelihood of the problem getting better properly and not recurring again in the future. Only do the ones that you can do with minimal pain, or preferably no pain at all. These exercises should be done once daily for three to four days of the week. Build up slowly, starting with one set of eight to 12 repetitions, but aiming towards three sets of eight to 12 repetitions over a few weeks. Use a weight that you can manage without causing pain, but which still feels like an effort for your muscles. A hand weight, dumbbell or resistance band can all work well. You could also use a one kilogram bag of sugar or a water bottle, remembering that one litre is the same as one kilogram. For this last wrist exercise, if you don't have a hand weight, you could always use a hammer or even a golf club. And that's it. Like I said at the start, for these exercises to work, you have to be patient and stick with the program. Pushing too hard, too fast, and therefore flaring the pain up is the most common reason why people fail. It's gonna take at least three months for most people, so don't rush, be patient. Respect pain and back off when you need to if pain starts creeping up. Okay, that's it. Well, good luck and bye for now.